I'm Shovel and welcome to my channel. We are finally back on Harmony Hollow. It has been a minute. I don't remember when the last uh, time I logged into the server was. Some people it seems like took a little break, but I am back and I have some thoughts on what we're gonna do today. Obviously we have a lot of cats. We got a lot of cats last time and I can even have so many more cats if I want to because I can just continue to breed them until the end of time. So what I wanted to do today, I think, is go around, get some supplies to build a little cat cafe so we can breed even more cats, but they won't overflow my house. They're already, the, the meowing's already getting to be a little bit. We're gonna go and build like a little, just a little cat cafe by where the shop area is, which I actually, if I'm honest, don't know where that is yet. So maybe we start by going and looking for it. We're gonna get some supplies because I know what little, I wanna build a little one. I don't wanna go too big because I wanna be able to finish it today. But I'm gonna build a little quaint cat cafe. Is there a, a teleport to it? Of course my waystone never works. Oh wait, never mind. I completely missed it. It was right there. <laughs> Whoa. I forgot how loud this is. Oh, it is very empty here. I wonder if it was cleared out or if this was already just like a plains area. Okay, so obviously there's a lot of space. So there's a lot of room for us. What is this? Each scale is 12 iron or two for one diamond. Oh, ooh, I've been wanting to make dragon scale armor, but I don't, I didn't come here with any money. And I also am really in love with my Valkyrie armor still, and I'm not ready to give that up yet. All right, let's see what this is. It looks like a chest with lots of riches. Oh, I love this little sign. Oh, these doors are cute too. Apple's treasure trove. I love how fast the floor makes you. Wither trophy. Ooh, wither skulls. Elytra. Oh, that's cute. I actually think that. That's really cute. Uh, and then we only have one other shop. What is this? Oh, I didn't know if I could get in. I didn't want to let this one out. Can you move maybe? Because you're making me nervous. Welcome to Unicornacopia. Oh, order form. Oh, for ordering a magical horse. Because you can have them all be comboed in different ways. I had a Kirin comboed with a Pegasus. It died though. <laughs> it got lit on fire. I think before we'll, we'll pick a spot, which I'm thinking I'll go next to the big egg. I think what we need here, I'm not saying it's gonna be my responsibility, but I might be so inclined to come back here and build little roads, like Animal Crossing style, which I'm having the absolute most fun playing and building little streets and little, little street lamps and corners, full flowers lying in it. God, I love that game so much. But now that we know where the shopping district is and I've already picked the look for the cafe we're gonna do today, I need to get supplies. And I'm gonna see what I have Already, I also need to repair so many of my tools. All of them, really all of them. I don't know if I have brick. I don't think it'd be the hardest thing in the world to get. I do have a lot of quartz stairs, but I don't have much or any. Quartz, quartz. We need, I wish I could. I wish and it can happen if I'd like it to. Oh yeah, oh, I'm gonna need to steal some levels. We know where we go to steal levels. There we go. I'm just gonna get 20. I don't know where those levels came from or if it was from just killing the couple of skeletons, but my levels have been glitched before where I got way more than I probably should have from a kill. I have some clay because I think I was doing, I needed terracotta, but now I need brick and I was doing it at Scott's house. Before anyone starts commenting, use vein miner. Why isn't she using vein miner? It doesn't work with this shovel. I could go make a diamond shovel and I might after I break these ones, but I don't mind. Oh my God, I do mind that though. That's, that hurt. I think I'll get this last batch and we'll go make as much brick as this makes. I feel like I need to make more furnaces because this is only gonna go so fast. Well, you know what? We're gonna let this go and I'm gonna come back. Okay. I'm hoping this is enough of everything that I need. There's a couple other things I need. I need a little bit of grass and some trap doors. Okay, cause then I think that's it. And then I need like just some flowers, which I'd be silly not to use my yellow lupins because it is my witchy cat cafe. And I have an overabundance of these flowers. I probably will only do the building today. I don't know if I'm gonna get to finish the interior, but I have a little oven already, which I think is cute. Cause I definitely wanna decorate it to have like a little kitchen corner, a buttload of cats and then like little couches and things. We have these Mr. Crayfish couches. And this is why we wanted as much brick as we wanted because most of the building is brick. And it is a three, four building that I'm looking at the picture of, but I'm gonna only do two. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the upstairs floor, but I guess it's somewhere I could sleep if I really wanted to. I forgot a door. I think I'm, okay, here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think we are gonna make this regular oak and I'm gonna do a regular oak door because I brought the wood. I do like the very traditional, oops, original, oak things. 
I don't have a very good angle on this picture, so there will be some improvising on my end. We always love when that happens. It's my calling card, the yellow lupins. I don't know how wide the building is. That's where I'm definitely gonna have to just get creative and decide for myself. And I'm not good at doing that. I think I'm gonna do it nine by nine. Makes my life easier. Cause I want it to be small. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with a really, really, really big build. It is gonna be two stories. I can even add more of the cafe to the second story rather than live up there. Cause I'm not going to do that. I have an amazing home. I wanted to have a couple big windows and then over here, I might do another like little one like this. I think it's looking so freaking cute already. So we needed the wool for this part because that's a very important part. Look at how cute. We're gonna fill it with cats. We're gonna put so many cats. We're gonna put a bowl of cats. Most of the blocks we are using are not modded though, which is actually interesting. I don't know what the bath looks like. I will do quartz for the floor. I'm so excited to decorate this because I love decorating in Minecraft so much. I've been loving decorating everywhere so much. Decorating in Animal Crossing, decorating in real life. I went and painted my kitchen cabinets starting at 8 p.m. at night. That was dumb. I was doing that till 11, but I've been really loving decorating. We did that whole episode where I spent four hours straight just decorating my house. So decorating this cat cafe next time is gonna be so fun. So this I think is gonna be the ceiling. And then we're gonna plop a roof right on top of it though. So actually these corners need to be raised for what I'm about to do. Cause I'm cutting this building short by one floor according to this picture. Uh, and there will be windows on the other sides. I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the front one right now, but I will do the other ones after I'm done with the whole building, I think. Oh my goodness. I keep forgetting I don't have this on me. Yellow lupins. That way the front definitely looks a lot better now. I think the whole roof, no, it doesn't need to be shorter. It actually, this needs to be taller. That is much taller than I actually expected it to be. Also, that bo I, I have to make some adjustments because the picture I'm copying is three floors tall, but instead I'm only making it two floors tall and I'm putting the top floor as the second floor from the picture, if that made any sense. I think the, the top has a similar thing that goes all the way around. Okay, obviously it needs more windows and some structures to give it a little bit more dimension. Um, some more of these little like, what are these called? Planters? What are these called? Planters? More of those and just like things. I'm gonna put little shutters that kind of are dimensional that are some are open, some are closed. I forget how I did that. I did that on Village Craft and I thought it was so cute. And that adds just a little bit more dimension. Still need more on this side of the building. It's still very flat. What if I did a roof garden? I don't know. For right now, that's all I need to do because no one's gonna see up there or be going up there. It looks very much like a little New York building that you'd slip between a bunch of other buildings that look the same. That's ugly from the underneath. Can I do anything about that? Oh, I used my big brain on that one. We don't like things to be too symmetrical and even. I like what I'm looking at here. I think I need some more things on the side. Maybe I make the awning go around on this side that way. I can have like a little outdoor seating area around here. I have one window down here. I think that's cute. I kind of love it. Kind of living for it. It's still kind of flat on some sides, but it definitely, like the style of the building I chose the Google image of was definitely meant to be placed between other tall buildings like New York street style. I can still work on adding more. I can definitely add, like maybe make this whole side have Vines? I was gonna say a fire escape and then I thought vines instead. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna take them from here because I need to do some trimming on these. They have gotten out of hand. Excuse me, ma'am, where did they all go? Oh, this is a vibe in and of itself, but I didn't really want my vines to get so out of control. I do love doing fire escapes on, this is my favorite style of building to do. If you remember Sky Street, my house on that was one of my favorites that I've ever done. Sadly, that one's lost to history. And I think if I put string, I might have to go back home really quick to keep it from creeping on the other sides of the walls. Remember when I said I wanted a small cafe and it ended up building the biggest cafe ever? That's gonna look good. I love a good mossy covered brick building, you know? That's like a vibe. So here's our cafe. It's gonna need a little bit of work. I'm gonna make a little bit more of a um, fire escape-y looking stairway to the second level that probably would fit the building better because I think these stairs are the only thing that really don't work. 
but we'll, we'll make it work. So I think that that's the whole building, which means the next time I film Harmony Hollow, we're gonna be decorating it. Um, we have two levels and maybe a rooftop garden. I don't know what I'm gonna do about these. They all have to be there because of the slabs that are on the other side. But I think we're done. That's gonna be it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!